the purpose of this visit, both from the American and from the Chinese perspective, is a kind of reset moment. And both sides are hoping to build positive atmosphere uh, between uh, Barack Obama and Xi Jinping that could somehow kickstart a, a, a positive cycle uh, in the relationship. The feeling on both sides is that there have been conflicting interests between the two countries uh, have been dominating the agenda too much and, and have been kind of disrupting re the relationship and they feel that there are common interests and they hope that constructive and, and a personal relationship between these two leaders can lead to a constructive approach. How the United the United States welcomes uh, the continuing peaceful rise of China uh, as a world power uh, and that, in fact, it is in the United States' interest that uh, China uh, continues on the path of success uh, because we believe that a peaceful and stable and prosperous China uh, is not only good for Chinese but also good for the world and for the United States. I mean, the most uh prominent area of, of discord that's been on the news agenda very much over the past few months is certainly hacking cybersecurity. The situation we have now is that there has been a, a, a string of accusations out of the US um, and in the US media often uh, helped by, by leaks from the US security um, authorities, accusations against China that the Chinese government and military are helping organize um, a concerted effort at basically stealing corporate secrets from the US and then somehow feeding it to, to China Inc. And there's a lot of pressure that's been building in Washington over the past months to uh, name and shame China and to maybe even punish China for what they think the government is doing. The specific issue uh, that President Obama talked to President Xi about today uh, is the issue of cyber-enabled uh, uh, economic theft theft of uh, intellectual property uh, and other kinds of property uh, in the public and private realm uh, in the United States by entities uh, uh, based in China. Every U.S. official I've spoken to about Xi uh, says that they feel that he is much more a stronger personality, a stronger leader, someone who you can connect with, someone more self-confident, some more natural. It's, they all um, feel very strongly that um, he's much easier to deal with, much uh, easier to build a relationship with than uh, Hu Jintao. Uh, we shouldn't forget that this is a man who, who actually has a nationalist rhetoric and uh, we can't really, really be sure about what a positive relationship with the US, how, how far uh, it would last and, and what he really wants from, from America. We certainly have been seeing a new type of China for quite some time. Uh, all of China's neighbors in Asia Pacific have been complaining about a more assertive China and China uh, pushing the boundaries to, to change the status quo in, in territorial disputes, for example, with Japan over the, the Senkaku or Diaoyu Islands. The Chinese military sources have said and, and uh, US military sources have actually confirmed that, that uh, Chinese Navy vessels have started trying out patrols or surveillance activity in the US's exclusive economic zone. This is, from the Chinese perspective, it seems like uh, they're trying to do something they have seen the US do in waters close to China and, and that China has disliked very much. So they're just trying out how it will work if they reciprocate and if maybe the US will do a little bit less of that. So certainly it's a more assertive behavior on, on the part of the Chinese military.